Oreo, stop trying to eat the birds. They're uncooked. Yee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Everything is 100 percented Isn't it a beautiful thing? So beautiful. Took so long. But I'm so proud. This is the first time I ever <clears throat> first time I ever 100 percented this game, so. I mean, I knew I would do it, but I, I didn't think I would do it as easy as I as easily as I did. And why am I going too far? I don't know. Oh, and I did remember what makes these... Remember that I said that I, there was something about these things that was like sort of an easter egg? If you hit them with a charge jump, you can get them to jiggle around. That's pretty much all I remember. <laughs> so there was actually something that has to do with them. Okay, and now these things, this is where you would connect your Game Boy Advance to your GameCube with the Game Boy Advance link cable. But I don't think that I can do that. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I can do that with like my Game Boy Player or something like that, but even so, these are just game demos, and if I wanted to show off WarioWare, I would pretty much just... Um, you know, just play the actual Game Boy Advance game, but that isn't really a game that you can really make a walkthrough on. <laughs> but anyway, if you would want to connect your Game Boy to your GameCube, you just punch one of these things and then it'll say linking to it. But I don't have anything in there, so you just get this error message. Anyway, let's go over here to the big treasure chest and face down the final boss! Which is obviously that big evil crystal thing. Oh, what's happening to the other places? Holy poopers! The whole place just blew up! <laughs> um, these spritelings? Yeah, those are sp spritelings. Okay, that's obviously what you're supposed to do. Whoa! Okay, I should probably be using dash jumps to get or bypass that. I like to dodge the lasers. Yeah, there we go. That works for me. And I bet you once I hit all five, he'll get stunned or something, probably. Uh, oh dear. What if I get trapped? Oh, shockwaves. <laughs> so now I guess we're playing jump rope with lasers. That's not that hard in the slightest. And... Yep, just as I thought. Let's grab him! And I could probably just slam him down for a hit. Yes, just as I figured. Alright, it's probably gonna repeat it, just what I thought. If this is really all that there all there is to the final boss, I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. <laughs> I should probably get off to the homing shots, I suppose. Looks like you can easily dodge those if you just go really close to them or something. Oh Jesus just jumped off the ledge. Great playing, PK Gam. You are truly a master of the video games. Come on, maybe that fire disappear off to the left. There we go. I'm trying to, you know, figure out the best way to get a, a rhythm down. I mean, a rhythm going here, so I don't like, so I can continuously move in a circle without having to get trapped and having to wait for him to do his shockwaves or fire attacks or whatever. I'm sure I'll figure something out as I go here, but as of right now, this is this is pretty easy. <laughs> So I really don't think I have to like over overthink this in the slightest. It, I mean, even if I do get trapped like this, it, it doesn't really make much of a difference because I'm not going to take a hit from these shockwaves anyway. I just have to wait for the fire to disappear. That, and then I can just move on. Charge past it. Can I? Oh, I can break it with charge attacks. That's really helpful. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's definitely the best thing that you can do there. Because you can continuously go around in the circle without having to worry about getting trapped or get hit by the laser. He seems to shoot that laser wherever you're about to go, and and not where you're actually standing. So he he attempts to trap you via that laser. That's smarter than most bosses, I have to say. Most bosses just aim like directly for you. There we go. I really hope he's got more than this, otherwise this is going to be a really, really disappointing final boss battle. <laughs> I'm gonna go around this way. Whoa! 
and Lazar. Uh, yeah, I really hope there's more to this boss battle to make this more interesting. After he gets out, after he gets down to so and so health, he'll probably start changing his attack pattern. That poor critter just doesn't stand the chance as he's going right now. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have charged so early because he shot the laser ahead of me. Like, can I go like between? I was gonna say like go in between the fire from the center because you see that there's a gap there, or at least it looks like there's a gap. That seems like that's a possibility, but I bet you it's not. It just feels like it to me. Uh, there we go. And charge. Nope. It seems like when you're standing in place, he doesn't know what the heck he wants to do with his laser. <laughs> Alright, two hits left. I can probably just throw him to damage him as well. Instead of doing that uh, ground pound slam thing, but this is going on for, ow, for quite a while, and I don't think you want to really, you know, have me experiment all that much. <laughs> uh, okay, one hit left. You must change form or something. Alright, I'm expecting something new here. Doesn't look like there's something new. Are you even getting fast? Are you, are you even attempting to get faster with your laser blade? Did I just say laser blade? <laughs> laser beam. Really? That's. This is all it's got? Okay, there's gotta be a second form after I knock its. knock its health out. Like, once I destroy that last skull on its life bar there, that's gotta be... I mean, there's gotta be more to it. Alright, second phase, I think. Really? That's it? That was highly disappointing. <laughs> Cutscene coming up with a different form of the boss, maybe? Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> That's really it. Oh, I hundred percent of this game for this. <laughs> it, it really is defeated. They really are. Well, at least I get my castle back. <laughs> Alright, let's see what our castle becomes. Magical words are ee ee poo! Wait, what? Wario seems delighted. What? Well, show me what the castle looks like. <laughs> As I said in the last part, the amount of spritelings that you get makes the ending better. Like, the more spritelings you get, the better the ending is. So I assume that, because, you know, they had all their spritelings, oh, spriteling friends back there. Oh, and someone mentioned in the comments that first boss of World 1 there looked like a battle toad. I am inclined to agree. <laughs> I, did, I didn't catch that the first time for some reason, but it really, really does. So, anyway, I guess that's apparently the best ending of the game. Maybe we're going to see a little bit more of what happens after the credits, but I, I'm, as I said, I'm not going to be showing... Oh, other endings of this game because otherwise I'd have to actually go through this game multiple times with various completion levels and that would just be so tedious especially since you've seen how long it takes just to go through this game and 100% at one time you know it's not that it's a bad game at all it's just that I don't really feel like 
<laughs> showing off all the endings of the game by going through the game so and so many times it takes to show off all the ending possibilities. And apparently not a lot of people took, I mean, didn't take a lot of people to make this game. <laughs> Because the credits are already over, or at least it looks like it. As I always say, I did not make the game. These awesome people did. I just made the walkthrough on it to help you out, as well as entertain you. Buy the game yourself, dang it. You can't play the game by watching a walkthrough. <laughs> Definitely worth buying, that's for sure. It's kind of ironic that the game's... Um, one of the publishers of the games is Treasure Video Games. And, you know, your objective is to collect a lot of treasure. <laughs> and... let's see his castle! Woo! I knew that was coming. <laughs> that definitely looks like a better castle than what he had before. <laughs> No wonder he was so delighted. Well, it looks like Wario came out with more than what he started with then. And... Hey, it's actually a short part, wow. <laughs> we're back to the title screen, right? Yeah, we're back to the title screen. Alright, so that's it for this walkthrough, I suppose. Unless I somehow find a way to do those demos of WarioWare. I don't know if I should even bother doing them before. I mean, as I said, because... What's the point of, you know, showing you something that I could be showing you in full game form? I mean, those are just demo games more than anything, so it's like, eh. Anyway! A short part! I I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> As I explained the last part, these have went on for so long! I mean, they have typically went on for being like 45 minutes, half hour to 45 minute parts, and that's, that's pretty dang long. But I'm rambling here. As I said, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough for like the billionth time, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Wario, stop taunting people on the pause screen!